Hello everyone, it's Maive, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I turned a jar into a witch's hat. All the materials with links to where you can find them will be in the description. For this project I used a regular glass jar, I removed the label and washed it thoroughly. I spread Fimo liquid all over it with my finger and used a small brush in smaller areas. This will ensure that the clay sticks to the glass. I covered the jar in a sheet of clay and trimmed the excess. Make sure you don't cover the area where you screw the lid on. Press the clay onto the jar and ensure there are no air bubbles. Blend away the joint as well. Next I trim the top edge to make it neater. I marked where I wanted the door and windows to be and cut out the windows using a round cutter. If you don't have a cutter, you can use a knife or a blade. I marked the door again as I wanted it smaller. I used a toothpick to create some bricks. I also used a toothpick to add detail to the door. When I score the lines, I don't go all the way down to the bottom edge because then you'd end up with little peaks of clay sticking out the bottom. So I stop, I turn the toothpick round and go back the other way. Still using a toothpick, I added texture to the door, making shorter and softer lines. You can also use a small bowl tool.
Using a craft knife, I removed a corner from one of the doors. I used a toothbrush to add texture. Next I went back in with a soft silicone tool to soften the corners of the bricks. To make the stone frames for the windows, I cut out rings in a slightly bigger size than the windows and placed them around them. Then I marked the bricks or stones. Don't forget to add texture to these as well. I rounded the edges up a little using a soft silicone tool. I spread more Fimo liquid on the windows to add thin snakes of black clay to simulate stained glass. I added two round door knobs and a stone frame around the door as well. Then I baked it for 15 minutes. The inside of the roof will need some support, so I'm shaping tin foil into a cone with a slight resemblance to a witch's hat. I wrapped a bit more tinfoil around the end to make it really pointy. I spread Fimo liquid on the lid and pressed some clay on it so that the tinfoil has something to stick to. I pressed the cone down and wiggled it until it felt a little bit more secure. This way the cone won't move while wrapping it with clay. Next I spread Fimo liquid on the cone and the lid because the clay needs something to stick to and wrapped the cone in clay. I added texture to the top third of the roof as some of it will be exposed.
Next I placed the roof on a similar jar I had because the base wasn't baked at the time and added a strip of clay around the edge to extend the roof further. I pressed that down to secure it in place and ruffled the free edges up a little. Then I baked it for 15 minutes. For the base of the jar I used tin foil as well. I started with a square, I put the jar in the middle and scrunched the tin foil around it giving it the shape I wanted. If you do not wish to see the tin foil through the glass then you can paint the bottom of the jar. I added Fimo liquid inside the tin foil base to bond it to the jar. I spread more Fimo liquid on the tin foil to add more clay. I added clay to make the front steps textured them and added detail with a fine ended tool. Adding the tiles. <laughs> this is a task not for the easily discouraged. I spread Fimo liquid on the roof and placed those little squares that you can see on the left one by one. I textured them before adding them to the roof and kept them a bit flared. I started the next row of tiles overlapping it to the previous one slightly and placing the first tile of the second row above the joint of the two below. The tiles can be as uneven as you like, they can be totally flat on the roof, it's entirely up to you. Once I had added tiles to two thirds of the roof, I started to add them just here and there as if some were missing. Then I baked it again. To cover the tin foil I made a base out of card, you can either choose a coloured one or paint it. I think making a base out of felt wool would be nice too. Then I glued it in place. To add colour to the hat I used acrylic paints. If you don't feel like painting then you can make the hat using coloured polymer clay instead. On the area surrounding the house I added two shades of green. I painted the door green and the stone frames grey. Using only a residue of brown acrylic paint, I brushed it on the walls for a dirty and worn look.
I painted the steps grey as well and once the paint had dried I added a wash of black blotting the excess with a tissue. I added shadows around the frames using brown and black paint and blending them out. I used a raw sienna type colour to paint the bricks. I painted the edges grey and went over the grey with a bit of black. To fill in the stained glass I used a mix of water based glaze and acrylic paint in different colours. I had started to paint the roof an ochre shade but I didn't like it so I painted it a dark brown instead. I added purple to the tip of the roof and blended that down slightly. To give the tiles a bit more definition, I brushed black acrylic paint from the edges up and in between them. Once the paint had dried, I brushed down a residue of white paint with a very light hand to create a highlight. Around the hat I glued dried moss. A new witch's hat jar is complete. Place an LED tea light inside the jar to use it as a lantern this Halloween. I really hope you liked this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did. Thank you so much for watching and hope you have a creepy Halloween. See you next time. Bye! Ciao ciao!